Hi everyone, welcome to the November 2022 manga haul. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that YouTube stuff if you like what you see here. First package I'm opening up is going to be from Barnes & Noble. This is actually my first time ever getting an actual like box box from them and not one of those individual book packages that you normally see me open on these. Um, it wasn't packaged particularly great. I could hear the books moving around. Um, I did get two volumes and these were both ordered with the 25% off pre-order sale. First one is going to be The King's Beast by Ade Toma. This is volume 8 and this... Uh, I can't wait to talk to you guys about this in the reading log. It was so good. Um, this series just continues to get better and better and I can't wait to go over it with you guys. And then it's going to be the final volume for The Scum Villains Self-Saving System by MXTX. This is their shortest series and this is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition for this final volume. Um, kind of going over the interior here. Again, with Barnes & Noble, sometimes when things come, they are a little bit dusty. Showing that exclusive sticker came off, no issue, there was no residue or anything. Um, here's the back, and this is what the exclusive edition gets you, is this little poster, which is fine. I'm not a huge, like, super into that. It's not going to come out of the book because I don't want to damage the book, but that's going to be it for the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Excited to give this a read. I didn't catch up in time, but hopefully I'll be able to finish Volume 3 pretty soon. Alrighty, another package from Barnes & Noble, a thick one this time, and this is going to be another pre-order using that 25% pre-order discount that they do. It's going to be a Don May heavy month, and this is going to be the first volume for the Husky and his white cat Chizun, or otherwise known as Tuha, or yeah, I believe that's it. Um, and the author, I'm not going to try pronounce but that is going to be meatball as they are lovingly known online this one came a little damaged in the corner which was kind of a bummer because that's never happened before with my barnes and noble orders but i digress it didn't ruin anything on the inside so it's fine beautiful print on the interior as expected with these donmei releases from seven seas and i'm excited to get into this since i've never read anything of this author's work before so thanks for watching on to the next clip. And here is a package that I was waiting a while for. I ordered this back in the Right Stuff Summer Sale of 2022 and had been waiting for this back ordered volume to come in for basically forever. Um, but I was very excited, as you can see. It's always funny to just get one volume from Right Stuff because they give so much wrapping no matter how much <laughs> How many volumes they give you and when it's one that usually has this where it's just like a never-ending stream of brown craft paper but here we have it the final volume volume 23 of Doro Hedoro by Kyu Hayashida I was so happy to finally have this stupid thing in my hands it was out of stock for forever then it came back in stock and I was lazy didn't order it, and then went back out of stock and I was like okay, fine I'll get it with the summer sale and I'll just grab it when it comes in but yeah that was super exciting to finally get in the next up is an order I got from eBay I believe this shipped out from a Goodwill or something um, and cue my very dull scissors I really do need to sharpen those things Anyway, we'll open that up and this is going to be a series that has six volumes. It's already complete in English and I keep hearing people talk about it and by people I do mean Tsuki notes and that's going to be Aka 13. I did watch the first uh, two episodes of the anime and really enjoyed it. This is a used library copy but I did get it for like five dollars so the stickers on the side aren't a big deal um, and the paper inside and the quality of it overall is just fantastic. Um, so that's going to be it for this clip, Aka 13 Volume 1 and Doro Hedoro Volume 23. I'll see you in the next one. Alright, and then we're going to open up a volume that I got during the Barnes & Noble Black Friday sale. It's nothing too exciting, just a volume that I missed when it originally came out and I want to keep up with this series because it is a slow release. And that's going to be Fangs by Billy Bally, Billy Bally Bally, gosh that's a tongue twister of a name, by, put out by Tokyo Pop. Barnes & Noble sometimes comes dusty, don't know what's up with that. And here I attempted to flip it open, show the inside, wow beautiful color pages, and then a butt. Uh, so 
close that up. But yeah, fangs, and I'll see you in the next clip. On to this clip. This is going to be an order I got from eBay. The dull scissors, once again, back at it, being absolutely terrible. Um, not as bad as the previous ones, but this is going to be me picking up some cheap volumes for a series that I've been interested in. Um, and wanted to check out. That's going to be Kamome Shirahama's Aniale and Davila. Um, you might recognize her name from Witch Hat Atelier, her other work we have currently have in English. Uh, this is a three volume complete series that was put out by Yen Press. The, seri the volume I got used uh, wasn't a, a library copy for volume three, but it did have some water damage and some sticker damage on the back that I'm hoping to be able to take care of. Um, this is all stuff that I got around the time of after Black Friday, so this is actually in December, so this is a also going to be a December haul because I did not put out my November haul in time. And here we have uh, Seaside Stranger, volume 5, I believe. And funny story with this, I got a box that was supposed to be this book, opened it, and there was literally nothing inside, so I had to get in touch with Barnes & Noble and be like, hey, I would love the book I pre-ordered, please. And so that was the replacement copy that they sent over. And this is going to be another pre-order from Barnes & Noble, once again, with that pull tab thing. Alrighty. I'm pretty sure this was Heaven Official's Blessing? No, this was Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, Moldau Zushi, Volume 4. And that's going to be the penultimate volume, uh, so that we only have one more volume left of this series coming out in English. And that's going to be, I believe it got pushed to sometime in May? I could, I could be totally wrong here, but it's going to be sometime, I believe, quarter two of 2023. Um, and I hope, I'm wondering what it's going to look like considering they had various options for um, the final volume of Scum Villain. But once again, beautiful work for these Donmei releases by Seven Seas. Love them. And then we have one more pre-order that came in from Barnes & Noble. This time the pull tab actually decided to work like it's supposed to. And that is going to be Heterogenea Linguistico volume four. We get one of these maybe once every year, year and a half, if we're lucky. I'm so excited. I love the series. It's definitely like a slow burn, really chill, just adventure series. Um, the one thing with these matte covers is they always kind of peel and I would prefer if, if it's going to be that quality where it's just not going to do well, I'd prefer if things were glossy. But yeah, Heterogeneo Linguistico, Volume 4, very excited to read that. Might put it off a little bit since we don't get a lot of them. And here is the big boy, my order from Better World Books. Um, I went on during their Black Friday sale and picked up a few things because it was, you know, it's a used, it's used books. Um, everything on there is used. Um, it does usually state if it's a library copy so you do know what you're getting. And one of these is going to be a gardening book I got for my wife uh, because I bought the wrong edition the last time I bought it from a used book site, so I made sure to get the right one this time. And next is going to be all the manga that I picked up from the Black Friday sale, and the first one is going to be The Strange Tale of Panorama Island. This is a release by Last Gasp. It's a beautiful hardcover. I cannot really open it too much. Yeah, you can see the beautiful foil because it is a very adult release. There's a lot of nudity, a lot of like sex. It's based on the poem by Erogaro Rampo, the famous poet. Um, you see me here covering a butt and a booby. So you can see some of the color pages at least. But yeah, it's an absolutely gorgeous release. Can't wait to give this one a read. The art is absolutely stunning. Um, definitely so happy I got this for well under cover price. And then next up is going to be a volume Danza. This is a one shot by Natsume Ono, who I picked up uh, 
Akka 13 from Volume 1. And this is their one of their other works we have in English. This is an ex-library copy. Thanks, Rickton Public Library, for the cheap manga. I believe I got this for like $4 and then an additional like 30% off with the Black Friday sale. It was absolutely a steal. And then we have a volume two of Aniali and Davila. This one is an ex-library copy and it does have that um, coating that they put on some of them. Um, this is volume two. I just need to get volume one now and then I'll have that complete set and be able to read it in one sitting. And I'm so happy. Her art's so good. But here I am. I'm gonna show off everything that we got here. Yeah, and then Better World Books and a little bookmark. Really basic, but always a nice touch to get a bookmark because I bought a bunch of books. But here we have, I got, we'll do a little overview of Aniali Davila, Volume 2, Danza, Strange Tale of Panorama Island, um, Aniali Davila, Volume 3. It was sad, I couldn't find a Volume 1 when I was like doing this hunt for less than cover price, so I was like, oh, you know what, I'll just wait. And Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation, Volume 4, Heterogenea Linguistico, Volume 4, and Seaside Stranger, Volume 5. Up next, we have another pre-order that came in in the month of December. Once again, the pull tabs just not doing it for me. And this, I believe, is going to be... There it is, yeah. Heaven Official's Blessing. I knew I had it in here. I couldn't remember when exactly I got it, but this is Heaven Official's Blessing, I believe volume five. Uh, and it's so cute. And I love the art on the inside. This one's so, uh, this one especially, just precious. Buff Goga. <laughs> but anyway, what else can I say? Beautiful Danmei release by Seven Seas, as expected. And then we have a order I got from the Right Stuff Winter Sale because there is a series that my library said that they would be bringing in over a year ago and I have not seen it come in. So I bit the bullet. Let's move my address and real name away from the camera. <laughs> I bit the bullet and I did purchase it, and that is going to be Kageki Shoujo, which you'll see here, 1 through 5. And then Yuri Espoir, Volume 2. Yuri Espoir, I bought on a whim at my local store. Also bought some Blu rays. And then we have Yuri Espoir and Kageki Shoujo, Volumes 1 through 5. Yuri Espoir was a series that I picked up on a whim from my local comic shop um, and wasn't really expecting much because it was in like the super discount pile, um, but it ended up being a lot of fun. So I'm excited to see where it goes here. This is the volume that's kind of kind of like make me decide if I want to keep going with it or not, if I want to drop the series, sell it, what have you. Um, but then we have Kageki Shoujo. My library had Kageki Shoujo when the, cur the curtain rises, which is the prequel volume to this series. And I really enjoyed it. And I was like, hey, you know, there's more volumes after this one. Are you guys going to be getting it? And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And usually when they say that, I'll see it at least on order within like the next three months, but I have not seen it go up or anything. And so I was like, you know what? It's on sale for over 40% off of the volumes. So I picked up the volumes one through five during the Right Stuff Winter Sale, and I'm super excited to revisit with these characters. I'll probably pick up the prequel volume at the library just to give myself a refresher because it has been quite a bit since I read it. Um, but this is basically a story about girls going to um, a school that's essentially for Takarazuka. Like they can't use that name obviously for like copyright reasons, what have you. Um, but it's basically Takarazuka, which is a female, uh, all-female, uh, performing arts theater thing. Wow, I'm re really great with these explanations. But, um, and it follows these girls going through a school designed to help them get ready for that life. Get them ready to perform in that life. 
and yeah i'm so stoked to have that and be able to continue the story with these girls and see if i want to keep going and that's everything that came in that day let's keep going Alrighty, and we have all the stuff I picked up in person during November and December. We have volume one of Gargoyles. This is, you know, my childhood. I love, I remember going to Blockbuster and borrowing the movie for it, which is basically the first three or four episodes and just watching it over and over again. So I was, when I heard they were doing a new comic for it, I was like, I absolutely have to get it. And then we have everything else that I picked up. Um, that's actually my only Western comic I think I picked up during November, December. But now we have the manga and first is gonna, up is going to be Tokyo Aliens. This is going to be the only Square Enix volume that I picked up during the last few months. And I was pretty excited when I saw that this got licensed because I read the first chapter online and then couldn't find anything else past that first chapter, so it was fun to be able to continue those characters. Then we have Midnight Rain, which is going to be the only Sublime volume that I have. This is a one-shot and very spicy. You gotta have some old man kisses right there in color. And then that art in the back feels like a throwback. Wowee! And then next up we have Coffee Moon. And that is going to be the beginning of my yen press. I believe I picked up another volume, but this is Mochito Boto. And this was a fantastic volume. Absolutely loved everything about it. The art is stunning. It's so different. The story is like Groundhog Day, but make it weirder. <laughs> um, just a ton of fun. Definitely recommend it. Definitely a, like a sleeper hit to so keep an eye out for. Then I have one volume that I got from Denpa, which is Guyabano Holiday by Papanya. And you may recognize Papanya's name and art style from their other volume that came out from Denpa, An Invitation, Invitation from a Crab, I believe was the title. Um, and I'm excited to take a look at this one because the setting is in the Philippines. And that's something you don't really see very often in manga. Next up is going to be All My Seven Seas volumes. First up is Anti-Romance, which is a BL title. This is a really nice release. I love the spot gloss on the characters on the front there. Um, and this is considered a special edition. It comes with a bunch of um, color illustrations in the back as well as the front here. Um, and this was a nice volume. I like the first, this first volume was really good. Um, it's a PG volume. It doesn't come plastic wrapped. So it's a safe read for anybody who may be not super into it. Then I got Crossplay Love Otaku X Punk volume two. This is another hilarious volume, but something that was a little sad was in the f first volume also. <laughs> Beautiful ladies showing off their man chest. Gotta love it. But yeah, this second volume didn't have the emboss on the crossplay love title like volume one had. Volume one had this nice little embossing for like the stitches on that title, but the volume two did not have that. So I don't know if maybe that was a publisher thing or if like the printer messed up, but I mean, it's not a big deal. It was just a little bit like, aww. And then we have Our Torsos Align Monster X Human Love by Ryo Sumiyoshi. Um, you may recognize the name a little bit because their other name is they publish under is Ryo Suzuri, who is the artist for Matic or Mad DK that is put out by Sublime. This volume that Seven Seas put out is absolutely stunning. I love Sumiyoshi's art in here. The stories are all very different types of love so it's not explicit at all um and it was a great read it's probably one of my favorite reads from the last year and then we have peak we have asumi chan is interested in lesbian brothels which is part of their girls love line um and this is absolute garbage and i did have to double check because there is a page in there that i could not show on youtube there's no way even that cover is a little sus, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes for me. <laughs> and then we have Yakuza Fiance 
Raize wa Taninga i. Raize wa Taninga i. And this was another fun volume. I love when there's just a man who's like, I just want her to ruin my life. Really, that's all I'm looking for in, in, a, in a wife, in a girlfriend. I just need her to ruin my life. And he knows what he wants. Uh, so that was a fun read. Um, and then I believe that's it for the month of December. Thank you everybody for joining me for this. And here's to 2023. Peace.